Introduction I have 20 marbles. I have 22 marbles. Wow! I have more than you. We can count the things around us like vegetables, cars, etc. Certain things cannot be counted like stars in the sky, hair on our head, etc. Mathematically, you are talking about whole numbers. Let us learn about whole numbers in this lesson. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to list natural numbers and whole numbers, draw a number line, perform addition, subtraction and multiplication on number line, discuss the properties of whole numbers, discuss identity, identify patterns in whole numbers. Natural numbers. We use 1, 2, 3, 4 to count the objects. Counting numbers are also known as natural numbers. Adding 1 to any number gives its successor. Example, 1 added to 20 gives 21, which is successor of 20. Subtracting 1 from any number gives its predecessor. Example, subtracting 1 from 20 gives 19, which is the predecessor of 20. Interesting question. What is the largest natural number? Whole numbers. Whole numbers include 0 and all the natural numbers. Points to remember. 1. All natural numbers are whole numbers. 2. All whole numbers are not natural numbers. 3. There is no largest whole number. The number line. The number line helps to display the whole numbers visually. To construct a number line, we simply draw a straight line and choose any point on the line and label it zero. This point is called the origin. We then choose some convenient length and moving to the right, mark off consecutive intervals, paths, along the line starting at zero. We label each new interval endpoint with the next whole number. The distance between any two consecutive points on a number line is called unit distance. Out of two whole numbers, greater number comes on the right of other number on the number line. Operations on number line Addition is easily visualized on the number line. Let's visualize the addition of 4 and 3 using the number line. To find 4 plus 3, 1, start at 0, 2, move to the right 4 units. We are now located at 4, 3, from 4. Move to the right 3 units. We are now located at 7. Thus, 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. While subtracting 2 whole numbers, move left the number of spaces that need to be subtracted. Suppose the sum of 2 whole numbers is 11 and from 11 we remove 4. Using the number line to help our visualization, we see that if we are located at 11 and move 4 units to the left and thus Remove 4 units, we will be located at 7. Thus, 7 units remain when we remove 4 units from 11 units. Multiplication means moving towards right, hoping specified units at a time, multiple times. For example, 2 into 5. Start from 0, move 2 units at a time to the right, make such 5 moves. You will reach 10. So we say 2 into 5 is equal to 10. Properties of whole numbers. On adding any two whole numbers, the sum is still a whole number. On multiplying any two whole numbers, the product is still a whole number. If three whole numbers are to be added, the sum will be the same if the first two are added first. Then the sum is added to the third, or the second two are added first, and that sum is added to the first. If three whole numbers are to be multiplied, the product will be the same. If the first two are multiplied first, then the product is multiplied to the third, or the second two are multiplied first and that product is multiplied to the first. If two whole numbers are added in any order, the sum will not change. If two whole numbers are multiplied in any order, the product will not change. The distributive property states that multiplying a sum by a number gives the same result as multiplying each addend by the number and then adding the products together. The above properties do not hold for subtraction and division. Identity 
the whole number zero is called the additive identity. Since when it is added to any whole number, the sum is identical to that whole number. The whole number one is called the multiplicative identity. Since when it is multiplied to any whole number, the product is identical to that whole number. Patterns in whole numbers. Numbers can be arranged in some elementary shapes using dots. The shape could be a line, square, rectangle, triangle. Every number can be arranged as a line. For example, some numbers can be arranged as squares. For example, some numbers can be arranged as rectangles. Rectangles can be horizontal arrangement or a vertical arrangement. For example, some numbers can be arranged as a triangle. For example, sometimes some kind of pattern is observed in whole numbers which can help in simplifying the calculation process. For example, let's look at another one. One more example. Summary Let us summarize what we have learnt. Natural numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4. Whole numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Number line is visual presentation of numbers in form of a line. It is easy to add, subtract and multiply on a number line. Properties of whole numbers include closure, associative, commutative and distributive properties. Whole numbers follow a pattern.